Hey there, we are back. Yes, we are back, Ilze, and I suggest that we talk more about Latvian pronunciation. I agree, Irina. Let's talk about the pronunciation, because that's what we can demonstrate as we speak in the video. In our L4ES club, we have grammar and vocabulary expansion exercises, and the club members can do them without hearing us speak. What I get from that is that you are actually talking about listening. I remember last time you said that listening is one of the most important skills in language learning. It is for sure. Irina, if I asked you what is the one thing you would point out regarding Latvian pronunciation, namely, how does it differ from English or Russian? What would it be? If I had to mention only one thing, I will say this. In Latvian, the stress is almost always on the first syllable of each word. I like that. I'll only add that not all words are stressed in a language flow. Small words such as ir, ar, on, and the like are not stressed at all. Yes, and if someone pronounces my name with a stress on the second syllable, Irina, for a Latin person it may sound as if two words were pronounced, ir and ina. In Latvian, my name should be pronounced with a stress on the first syllable, Irina. Just like I pronounce it, Irina. Why don't we give a small task to our viewers where they can practice listening and determining if the sentence has one of those small words in it. You'll see two sentences on the screen and we challenge you to determine which sentence we are saying. Oh, you mean one of our three exercises? I like it. I will start if you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. Go ahead. I'll show two sentences on the screen and you read one of them. We challenge you, the viewer, to figure out which sentence Irina is reading. Kas Irina pardalu? I'll repeat it. Kas Irina pardalu? Now I'll read another sentence from a batch of two. Arlietu problemas nav saistītas. I'll repeat it. Arlietu problemas nav saistītas. And why don't we make another one so that the viewers can determine if there is a small word un or if un is a part of a word. Here is the sentence. Ungars ir dzīvs. You read this. Ungars ir dzīvs. I like this batch. I'll also read a sentence from it. You, the viewer, need to determine if I'm reading the same sentence again or the other one. Ungars ir dzīvs. I'll repeat it. Ungars ir dzīvs. We have exercises like this and more in our l 4 es club. We publish them twice a month. The annual subscription for a grounding member is still available, but not for long. Yes, if you'd like to grab the subscription and become a founding member, click the link around this video. The issue costs only $5. When it's gone, it's gone. But now, let's say bye-bye to our viewers. Bye-bye. Till the next time.